Well, it's rare to see an athlete come into the UFC and take a division by storm to this extent. And largely, she's done it with her bread and butter, her kickboxing. No one's been able to stop her. Yeah, we've seen some great kickboxers come into the game before. But the way that she sets things up, man, the way she uses her knees when you get close, the way she batters your legs with the kicks, the way she can land these strikes from in close, it really is something special. So I'm excited to see how she uses that tonight inside the octagon as she tries to further her assault on her division. And she doesn't seem too worried about the takedown. Her takedown defense is pretty solid. It has improved over the last 10 weeks. But you got to think opposition is going to be trying to floor her here early and often tonight. for this one. We are on the way. Nice pause. Punch went nowhere. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Rips the body there for good measure. Silva gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three. Oh! She's got to start looking to finish here. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Silva's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. Oh, that's a big hook there. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Massive head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up, and you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now, 
And now she can start to capitalize on that. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most of the oh! This could be it! Under a minute to go. Just missed with the left there. Silva's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice crack there. Head kick landing over the top. Oh, Five God. minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Silva's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. There, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh! Trying to hammer that lead leg. Silva gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that momentum. She's building on the momentum that she gained in round number one. Oh, she's in a lot of trouble, John. She's going to have to be so smart to reach the final bell. Big right hand there. Oh, nice jab by Silva. Oh, big elbow. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. End this fight. End it. That was a big check. Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. Yeah, her opponent's limping. She's done a really good job of attacking that leg kick and setting it up to make sure that opponent never checked them. Now she's at a point where even if she checks a kick, it's still going to hurt. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she... She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Big right hand. Oh, she's hurt. Oh! Well, she's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. Oh, man, he's a high. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Big knee. to see another 
around. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get you the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Hook lands. And follows up with an See if she can close the show here. She landed that strike perfect. She was looking for it, and she found the moment where it landed. Nice job, Fire there to block that shot. Oh! How about these two going at it? <laughs> Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Space between the two fighters. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee. There you go. There you go. Right back. Nice pass. Oh, look at this. She's got her in the crucifix. A lot of body weight with which to contend. We'll see how she tries to get up here. It's a very tough situation for the bottom girl. Before the top fighter. All she has to do is just maintain and keep control. Keep it safe. Don't allow it to turn chaotic. Because when it turns chaotic, you lose one of the arms. You gotta keep both the arms. Punch, 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 elbow, 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 and end the fight. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster. Man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Gotta be careful, of course, not to gas out. But so far, so good for her here in this round. All right, so the body shots continue to be the narrative in this fight, and a lot of bruising now starting to develop on that side. You know, the kicks, the punches, the knees, just the ability to mix up all of her strikes to the body has allowed for her to get out ahead of her opponent. Now, her opponent's confused. She has no answers for these body shots. Oh, she made that one count. In the half guard. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your oh, a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, so that's the end of the round. It is certainly not the end of the bleeding. The cut just above the eye has gotten out of control. And if this thing gets any worse, they might stop this fight. All right, back to the stool we go. And mentally, she seems very much in this fight. But physically, she has absorbed a lot of damage and is dealing with that big cut above the eye. Yeah, she's taken far too many devastating blows to the eye, John. She has been beat up. She's been battered. She's been bruised. And now she's dealing with a cut above the eye that's going to be very difficult to overcome. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job finding such a massive shot. Oh, a nice knee. Absolutely revolting to look at. I know DC's got only one eye open right now, but... Oh, another one. Well, 
Oh, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the fight. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. She continues to circle towards the left. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her feet, oh, right into the body, and she is pulling the distance. She's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's going to be able to recover. Oh. oh. She's getting up. Yep. Not take too many hills. Oh, just that. tonight and this crowd is letting her know john you know how much i love to talk and i'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing she said she was going to get a finish and that's exactly what she did wow All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Macy, the future! All right, so there she is, your winner by TKO. She felt like her power would be a big storyline in this one, and she was absolutely right. Power was going to be the difference. So what she did was she reserved it a little bit, found the spot, found the opening, landed the first shot that hurt her opponent, then found the follow-up shots that allowed her to win this fight by TKO.